Welcome back to my channel guys. I'm back with another video. As you can see, I have a new hairstyle and I just wanted to share this one with you guys because the weather is getting colder and you need something to cover your ears and still look cute at the same time. So as you guys can see, I will show you how I made this afro wig and also how I cut it into this shape. In the meantime, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, make sure you like this video to support me as usual. And yes, let's dive in. So the hair I'll be using for this video is the Jeanette Collection Nala Tress Curl Bay in the um, curl pattern 4B and I got this in a color 1B as well. So it comes with two bundles in the pack like this and um, this is a close up shot just for you to see the texture of the hair and it's super long so you could really get away with cutting this hair into two if you wanted and it also comes with this pre-looped ends. So yeah let's get right into making this week so my trusted mannequin is out as you can see it has gone through a couple of things um and i'll be using this crochet wig cap that i got from my uh, local beauty supply store it comes with combs in there so which is really good to help you secure this week but hey this week still stayed secured even before i put the combs in so yes this is the wig cap i am using I'm just going to fit this on my mannequin. My mannequin, I can't find the, the what do you call it, the stand. So I'm using a different stand. So it's going to be wobbly for a little bit, but hopefully um, it gets us through this video. So I'm just going to go in and start from the back and um, just right on top of the elastic band and start crocheting um, this hair in. I split each of the each of the strands of the hair extension into about three or four pieces especially at the back and made sure that I crocheted spacing out the the holes on the cap so just keep watching I'm just going to speed up this first part of the video as I usually do and then I will zoom in or slow down the video and just show you what I did so this is basic crocheting if you already know how to crochet kudos to you this is just regular crochet just make sure you space out the hair because this again this is afro hair so it it's really dense um so you don't want to have too much bulk i i personally didn't want to have it too big um i really like how long this hair is and you guys at this point i was there, at this point when i was editing the video i just felt like i should have left it really long but again we can try another day but the goal for this is just have this really cute short style so now i'm showing you how i actually crochet so you put the crochet needle opened through the hole and then put the hair and close the latch hook and pull it through and that is it like that's how to crochet basically so if you want to see that again please slow down this part of the video to see it more closely but that's how i did the entire head when i started getting to the front i started um doing it a bit closer and doing smaller sections of the extension itself um, because when you get closer to the front you're making sure that there's no visible space through the cap so my mannequin has a straight middle line running through it so I use that as a um, way to gauge each of the sides of the wig so I did the same thing on either side as you guys can see that straight line in front of my mannequin Yes, that just helped me basically split the hair down the middle um, on either side. So I just kept crocheting until I got to that line. And then I just closed it up on the top of it. And I crocheted less when I got to the front since I'm cutting bangs. Um, I just crocheted way less hair in front that will be over my eyes because I didn't want it to be too much in front. So now I'm just teasing the hair but first let me show you guys how i opened up the loop of the extension itself so it comes like this right and there's a tiny rubber band so you just snap it out it's very tiny so it comes up easy and what i'm going to do now is just take the hair the way it is it's very easy to do and just start twisting so just start twisting until it unravels that way when you're separating this hair it is easier it doesn't tangle so you're basically removing the loop that they added to the hair and this is way easier than trying to pull it apart when that section of the loop is still very tightly wound 
so yes yeah, so as you can see i just went ahead and divided this one strand into about four and it was easy to pull apart so hopefully that helps somebody out there yeah so that's how i did it so let's shape this hair a little bit um it is really big right now but that front section that i'm putting aside for my bang i put less hair in front just because you know for bangs you don't want something that will be too puffy and it just doesn't look right so i'm going to section off my bang and just put it aside while i trim the rest of the hair and mind you if you want the hair this long you can just cut your bangs and then tease out the back and trim a little and you're good but i wanted this a bit shorter so it's easier to manage and i don't have to worry about the length but hey you can always do the length if you want to as well in terms of cutting this hair as you notice i'm cutting it on the mannequin but if it helps you to put it on your head first and cut please do that because yeah there are many ways to cut hair especially afro hair it's more forgiving like um it gives you more room to work with because it doesn't really need a lot of maintenance or anything like that so yes i got away with cutting this hair on a mannequin but again if you want to put it on your head that is perfectly fine now i'm just gonna cut the bangs straight right across and then tease it later to give it more shape so as you can see the more you cut the more you tease it out so you can see all of the extra strands coming out of this hair um and yeah you see you can already see tiny shape coming in can't you also <laughs> um yeah so i just kept doing that for the rest of the video of this part of the video anyways until i got my desired shape i really wanted to cut it on the mannequin because i felt like i could see what i was doing and because my mannequin head already had that middle line it was easier to see what i was doing like how it would appear how it would lay on my own face um so yes make sure you maximize the markings on your mannequin because that can be really helpful so for my bangs i'm just teasing it i want this to be big but also very like not smooth just really flawless and just looks like it's my hair but i forgot to comb it <laughs> So yes, I'm going to keep doing that and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished product. So now I, I'm just putting on a wig cap so I can protect my hair before I wear this wig. And you guys, the wig actually came out really nice on that cap. So I put it on, put the combs in, and it was so secure. Like, this wig cap was really perfect. It was so secure, and the hair itself came out so nice. So it didn't, it didn't move. It did not come off. I shook it a little bit, nothing like that. But anyways, because I want the bangs to move forward over, over my forehead a little bit, big forehead gang, <laughs> um, I just went in with some bobby pins and pushed the front down. And that is the only thing that I needed to just make the shape I wanted a bit better. So yes, that's it guys. And I will show you what the back looks like. But yeah, make sure you guys check out all the details about this product down in the description box below and go order yours because this hair you can be so versatile this is just one of many ways you can use this um Nalatris curl bay and it comes in different textures 4b 4a 4c so yes yeah, find what works for you and um, make sure you tag me leave me comments below if you have questions as well and i'll be um, seeing you guys pretty soon